dear friends we'll continue the problem which we have discussed in the last class see i'm continuing the same problem which is in the halfway see now you have group that here this so that is so laplace of y of t that it is equal to here remaining 1 divided by s square plus 1 here here our aim is what our aim is to find y of t here actually uh, you have to take laplace inverse both side in that case you can directly uh, observe that what is uh, laplace inverse of this particular term so it is too early to we have not discussed that so far what is uh, laplace inverse you are going to study that inverse laplace transformation now it is too early to discuss that here but with the existing knowledge what we can do it is to find out this y of t here unknown term we will write this as in equivalent by using your formula you know that laplace of which function is 1 by s square plus 1 see now here you know that this we can write equivalently it as sin t itself you know that laplace of sin k t is equal to k divided by s square plus k square whereas here in the place of k here it is equal to 1 therefore it becomes instead of sin k t it becomes sin t so now observe that you have equated this here it is laplace of uh, y of t is equal to laplace of sin of t so therefore directly taking that as uh, in uh, other functions here it is you can directly write y of t is equal to sin t itself so this is what the given function value that here unknown function y of t is equal to sin t you may test yourself that here you can cross check that here it is whether the whether while differentiating that the given function here you will get the equation or not here it is say for the verification sake that i am going to uh, that uh, show you that here it is not uh, uh, frequently you can uh, uh, check that here it is say for your curiosity by applying uh, laplace transform whether we are going to do the same job Uh, as in differential equation say at least uh, we have done the same job see just you differentiate that here it is uh, now here y of t is equal to sin t here see y dash of t is equal to what cos t here it is then y double dash of t is equal to what it is minus sin t now uh, the given equation say the given equation to you is to solve is what y double dash plus y Uh, y is equal to zero. The given equation is equal to zero. So you can test that. Just substitute minus. This is what y double dash of t is minus sine t. What is uh, y of t? It is equal to sine t. See this get cancelled. So it is equal to zero. So certainly uh, what you have done in your differential equation, solving differential equation, the same answer, the same work. the laplace transformation is it is going to be uh, doing here it is so it is uh, the parallel study or it is another method to solve a given uh, ivp uh, here again uh, say again another problem i will take that here it is solve that here solve the function solve here uh, say y double dash of uh, y double dash of t sometimes it is given directly y double dash only so y double dash plus k square y is equal to 0 initial condition it is given here y of 0 is equal to 0 and uh, y dash of uh, here 0 is equal to k that is k now here now we'll as i told you here it is by using your formula you are going to solve this here so now the given differential equation is y double dash of t plus here it is k square y equal to 0 taking laplace transform both sides that here plus k square into i'm taking that constant as per that property i'm going to write that here it is so it is nothing but here y of t okay so y of t you must know that always so this is equal to laplace of here it is y 0 now this is equal to you apply the formula i have given here s square into laplace of y of t that minus s into y dash of 0 minus y of 0 that okay so this is the form uh, s into 
uh, that is here sorry s into that here which is here uh, y of 0 right here minus y dash of 0 that again this plus this term k square into Laplace of y of t that and again uh, I have explained you in the earlier problem what is Laplace of 0 it is equal to 0 here now that is here s square into laplace of y of t minus s into what is y of 0 it is given condition y of 0 is equal to 0 that ivp again what is y dash of 0 y dash of 0 is equal to k there right so plus k square into laplace of y of t yes and it is equal to 0 now continuing so now that is equal to that is here grouping uh, Laplace terms here it is s square into see here it is one term here again another term is here s square into k square that Laplace of y of t that and again 0 into any term is equal to 0 therefore reduces to 0 and it is you can take this single term one term you can take that here that side here it is equal to k there so therefore this becomes here it is that is Laplace of that here y of t it is equal to k divided by that s square plus k square yes again I am recalling that your aim is to find what is y of t here so you have to make this y of t by L operator right so now uh, this term we can equivalently write here as it is equal to Laplace of I hope so you are recalling the formula we can write equivalently it is equal to sin kt value so this becomes here that is y of t is equal to what sin kt so this is what the um, solution for the given ivp right so again the number of problems which is given in your uh, exercise that here you may solve that yourself say uh, this uh, for your convenient purpose i will give it to you right you can refer the textbook and also you can solve that but uh, see one problem you can solve it yourself see solve y dash of t is equal to e power t right here again initial condition is y of 0 is equal to 1 so to solve this problem here you need the knowledge of partial fractions puc knowledge you solve this here it is again thank you